From the serenity of a craftsman's country backcloth to the personality-charged atmosphere of an artist's studio in Kensington, London, where we introduce another in our series, Famous Men. This is where posterity gains a constant flow of paintings and drawings in a variety of moods, every one a masterpiece worthy of the name of their creator, Sir William Russell Flint, R.A. To ensure the paper he uses has just the right texture and quality, Sir William is prepared to search for it all over the world. You'll notice he didn't go to quite the same trouble for his um, palette, or did he? For many of his recent paintings, Sir William uses as a model Cecilia Green, in whom a natural elegance has been nurtured by earlier training as a ballerina. This training has also developed in her a quality of patience and serenity so essential to the artist. The predominating influence in Sir William's work has, surprisingly to some of his admirers, been poetry, particularly the works of Shakespeare. In fact, at 76, a senior royal academician and trustee and former president of the Royal Society of Painters in watercolours, with many hundreds of pictures and studies to his credit, one of his remaining ambitions is to illustrate Shakespeare's sonnets. That, however, is a treat to come. Sir William calls this incisive and romantic style directness of method. But as you can see, there's nothing mysterious about it. It is in fact a talent an artist either has or hasn't got. He follows what Michelangelo called his great rule, take as much trouble as possible so that the result appears as if it had cost no effort. As a matter of interest, the paintbrush that Sir William is using, one he has used for more than 40 years and that has created masterpieces like these, has a special significance in his career. After World War I, he was painting in a bay off the coast of Scotland when the brush fell into the water and was carried out to sea. Sir William gave it up for lost, but the following night, while painting in another bay more than a mile away, the tide brought it back to within a few feet of him. And so, years later, that brush has been able to give us paintings like Unwelcome Intruders, typical of the art that has become associated with Sir William Russell Flint, R.A.